Hello my friends, today we are taking another look to Portrait Pro Studio 22. I'm gonna do a couple of examples here and I will use this as a plugin from Lightroom but Portrait Pro Studio is a, also you can use it as a standalone program or you can use it as a plugin for Lightroom or Photoshop. The program costs about $50 and it's totally worth it in my opinion. So I'm opening this image and as you can see the first thing the program does, it recognizes the face, it recognizes that it's a female and it marks where the main features of the face are. Now in this case the eyebrow it kind of missed a little bit but you can adjust this just by dragging the point and say hey the eyebrow actually goes over here. So I'm gonna correct that. But they found the iris of the eye, the shape, the nose, the mouth, everything else. And right out of the way applies some sort of preset. So it already looks way better on the right side than previously on the left side. But we're gonna do this from start. So we are going to start with shape. I'm gonna turn the master down. So we start from the beginning. And let's see, we have face shape. And uh, we can do individually the forehead or the jaw, or we can just do it all together. If you go all the way to the right, it will do the most of the face shaping. Let's see, to the left, to the right. I don't think we need to mess too much with this. I'll apply just a very minimum. Let's go next to the eyes. You can adjust the left eye and the right eye individually. Let's see if we do a master. It widens the eyes, you see that? Makes them bigger. We will apply the minimum. We have eyebrow shape. We can adjust the eyebrow shape, lift it up a little bit maybe. It has a droopy eyebrow. We'll just apply a little bit of that too. Cross eye, she does not have cross eye, but this is where you would correct that. I'm gonna put it back at zero. Eye widening, if you wanna widen the eyes, we do not need to do that for this photo. She has already pretty beautiful big eyes. By the way, this is a free photo from pexels.com. I did make a whole video about Pexels, how you can get absolutely free stock photos, high quality photos, that you can use them commercially. It's somewhere in my videos. Please go back and look at that. Mouth shape. We can adjust the mouth shape. Let's see, we can adjust the upper lip individually. We can make it higher or lower. We can do the lower lip. or the expression makes it more smiley or not so smiley. I'm gonna leave it at zero. We don't need to mess with that. Plump lips, that's just that. Can make it very weird and unnatural. I'm gonna not do that and just leave it alone. And you can do the plump lip, the upper and lower individually. Nose, we have a few sliders here too. We can do the master and just see what it does all together. Or we can just do the nose shape. We can alter the shape. We can shorter the nose. You see how it moves the forehead up and down. We can slim the tip if we want to. Slim the nose and so on. I'm going to leave all of those as zero. I'm not going to alter the shape of the nose. Neck and shoulders. Let's see. If we apply the master, you will see we'll make it all skinny and actually it messes up around here. So you can go whole bunch or make it bigger on the other side, on the left side. I'm not gonna mess with that and I'm gonna leave it at zero. Expression, fake big smile or not, I'm not gonna mess with it. Hair volume, you can give the hair volume or you can move the hairline, which it really messes up if you go all the way to the right here. I'm not gonna do any of those. We'll move into skin and we have skin smoothing. And he already did a whole really good job in here. I'm just gonna take it down a little bit because I, it seems to kind of overshoot it a little bit and do a little bit too much of a smoothing. But you have all these sliders here for imperfections, thin wrinkles, fine shadows, remove pores, remove shine, remove grease, and they all work wonderfully. You can sharpen, trim eyebrows. Let's see what this one does. Not much in this case.
texture, spot remover, all that good stuff. One of my favorite tools on Portrait Pro is the lighting and coloring. Lighting does just that. You can move this light around and you can see, like I can put it on the side and now the light comes from the left side. I put it on the other side and now the light comes from the left side. For females, I like to put it right here on the forehead, like in between the eyes. And then the base contrast, what this will do, will make the light source bigger and smaller. So if I make it uh, smaller, the light source, then I'm getting a little bit more contrast and I get this shadow under the cheekbones and just shapes the face a little bit better, I think. I like it better. So I am going to do that and maybe take it down a little bit so it's not that much. And then you have a whole bunch of controls here for cheekbones, smoky eye. We can do a little bit of smoky eye if we want to, just like that. Adds a little bit of shadow here on the eyelid. Skin color style. We can change the color. Now it's set to color correct, but I usually like to use either natural or tan. Let's give it a little bit of tan. And you don't want to go all the way. If I go all the way, it will... Oops. If I go all the way, it would look like this. But I will add a little bit, just a tiny little bit of tan. Maybe, maybe like that. Brightness and contrast, temperature tint, tan. Add a little bit of tan over here. Okay, I like that. Now we'll move to makeup. Another one of my favorites. Let's see, we'll start with lipstick. And here's where you can add a lot of lipstick and you can change the shade over here. I can put all kinds of shades of lipstick. And also you can change the texture of the way the lipstick applies. So I'm gonna take it down and do more like a, I'm gonna do it more like a very natural, just a little bit of tint. I'll go with that, I think that looks best. Mascara works really, really well. I was so impressed with this one. If I go all the way to 100, you see the mascara? Look at that before and after. And then you can choose if you want false eyelashes. You have false eyelashes bold. You have medium application. And then thick application. I like the one that thick works, but I want to take it down so it's not as much. So it makes it a little bit more natural. So I think, you, then you have some controllers here if it didn't match completely the eyelash line. Then we can do eyeshadow. You can pick the color that you want, the way to blend it. And if you want it shimmer, semi-matte or matte. I will just apply a little bit so you can see. There you go. Lower eyeshadow, we can add a little bit and you can see it creates it right over here. I'm gonna take it down so you can see it. That's without. And here is with. Then we can add a little bit of eyeliner. You see it on the top? This is all the way to 100. This is zero, 100, zero. Then we have the blusher. And this is where you can choose the shape of the face and the tone of the blusher. We can add just a little bit. You see if you go all the way, it applies it right there. We only want a tiny little bit for this image. You can use bronzer, same thing. You can choose your color. This is all the way to 100. I am just going to add the tiniest little bit. Same thing with highlighter, you can apply it. I'm not gonna apply any for this image. Eyebrow pencil, you can darken the eyebrows with that. Let's move into the eyes. We can whiten eyes. If you go all the way to 100, you see that's the result. You can do it individually for left and right eye. You can clean eyes, whitening area, darken pupil, darken pupil size, sharpen eye, Sharpen eyebrow, brighten iris. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this brighten eyelash, just a little bit. Change eye color, this is where you can pick the color. 
and then you can change the color. I'm gonna leave it the way she has very beautiful eyes. The intensity, so if you change the color, let's say, and then you change the intensity, you see, makes it a lot more visible. But I'm not gonna change the color. If you have contact lenses, add eyelid, remove pupil reflection, add catch light. So here you can add a catch light and you can change the shape of your catch light and place it wherever you want. I don't need to add it here. It already has some catch light, so I'm gonna take that down. Click OK. Then we have mouth and nose. And here is we can work with the lip saturation, lip darken, lip contrast, sharpen mouth, all that good stuff. Then we have hair, and here is an interesting one. You can actually change the hair color or add highlights. So let's see, let's change it. You don't want to change it to something completely different like dark red, even though I did a really good job here. Let's see. But maybe I will change it just a tiny little bit as to yellow. Let's see what would look nice. No, this is probably too dark. Let's see, we do that, but we'll take the color opacity down. So it just gives it a little bit of a hint. So we change the color a little bit. We'll do okay. You can add shine to the hair and all kinds of controls you have here. You can add highlights, so you can choose your highlight color. So let's say we choose this one for highlight color, and then you can add the highlights. You can't really see it here because our hair is already so light. And then when you're done editing your image, you can export it, send it back into Lightroom by pressing this button and accepting the changes. So now it will save it into Lightroom. And if we go to Lightroom, this is our before and after before and after. I think it's a big change. You did a really good job with just a few sliders. Really, really easy to use. I'm gonna take a different example and this time we'll just go through some, I'm gonna pretty much leave the, the controls that it does, the, the presets that it does the program, but I'm just gonna adjust them a little bit to make it work for me. So that way we'd go through it a little bit faster and we don't have to go through every slider. Let's see, right out of the bat, it did a really good job from before to after. I'm going to adjust this eyebrow a little bit here. Let's see, move that in there, this point over here, maybe this over here, there you go. Just like that. And now let's see the shape. I would leave it skin smoothing. I will just take it, tone it down a little bit. The master fade, the master fade controls all the other sliders that has been applied all together. It's like a big opacity slider. Lighting and coloring. I'm gonna change the lighting, put it where I like it more on the forehead and I am going to make it smaller. So it gives me more, more contrast. So somewhere maybe, let's see. Maybe like that. So that was lighting and coloring. Makeup. I do like to apply a little bit of mascara because I think it does a really, really great job. That's one of my favorite features. And then uh, let's see. Maybe we want to put a little bit of eyeshadow, the makeup, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And a little bit of lower just a little bit like that eyeliner i'm gonna skip blush i'm gonna maybe a little bit of blush just like that bronzer highlighter i will skip i'm gonna leave the hair just the way it is and i'm gonna accept the changes and see how we did 
And now, here is our before and after. Before and after. I think that's fantastic. Let's do one more example. At this time, we'll do a mail. See how this works with a mail. Go to Portal Pro Studio, edit. And this should be pretty fast because we're not going to do any kind of makeup on him or anything like that. So we'll just change a few sliders, see if we can make it better. All right, I'm going to leave the shape the same, skin smoothing. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Lighting. I'm just going to change the lighting a little bit. See, the light now is like from down here. I want to change it more. Let's see. Maybe more to the side for him. And make the source smaller to give it a little bit more contrast. So you can make it really big, really soft light, or smaller. In this case, I'm just going to do it like this. Maybe like that. All right. Do I need to change anything else? No. All right, we'll leave it just like that. And let's see. This is our before and after. Before and after. I do not know how to use every single slider. I only played with it for a few days, but so far I am very impressed. And I mean, just look at that, the before and after. That is amazing. To do that in Photoshop or in Lightroom, it would take you hours and hours and hours. And we only did it with a few sliders in a few minutes. I hope you learned something new. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you want to don't miss any of my future videos, uh, click that notification button. My name is Skylar Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.